What's going on guys? Welcome back to Cyberhack and I'm trying to like throw this all enthusiasm like I would sit through an interview but of course not as crazy, not as wild but at least be nicer and more happy. Put a smile on your face when you're speaking to the hiring manager but don't overdo it because if you're gonna come off like what I just did right now you're probably not gonna get hired but be calm, collect yourself, breathe but don't do it while you're talking to the person but anyway I want to go over a few details today as to free resources that can land you a job. I swear it will. I, I'm not even joking. If you could understand this entire website that I'm going to show you guys or the website that you actually saw in the thumbnail because I actually said it. Um, but before we go on and before we do any of that, please hit that like, comment and subscribe. Please subscribe. I mean, I'm like self-promoting. I have no other way to actually do it. Uh, I don't have a marketing team. I do everything myself. I don't have an editor, don't have a script writer besides ChatGPT, my thumbnail maker, ChatGPT, title maker, ChatGPT, <laughs> so on and so forth. Anyway, guys, I let's get straight to the point. Let me show you guys something that you guys need to know. You you really should. And there's no other way around it because most United States agency, state, city, corporations follow this guideline, CISA. And it, it's the most comprehensive free resource, one of the top knowledge of knowledge transfer between understanding what's in the real world that you don't actually have to pay for anything, which is amazing, right? I mean, all this comes from taxpayers' dollars anyway. So I'm contributing to this. I, I think we all are. I'm, I shouldn't say just me, but a lot of people are. So what is it so special about this? So I have been sitting through and working with people who were like, hey, I'm, I'm getting this position with incident response and awareness, like uh, awareness training. So obviously this fits right into the category, right? Uh, incident response. What do you have to do? What are the details of it? Of course, there are other resources where you can get that information. You go on YouTube, you could possibly buy incident response uh, books on on things like that. But you know, there's a lot of resources that are free and you don't have to spend that kind of money on things, especially when budget is running tight, right? You're, you're still looking for a job. So what's the best next course of action? You come to CISA.gov, official government website. Don't, don't get scammed or tricked into going any other website that may ask you to make payments or money or any other type of, of collateral for training resources. That's not the point here. You come to incident response. Of course, there's like a whole bunch of other trainings, whole bunch of other trainings. That's not the only, I'm just showing you one out of many because I felt like this was one of the better ones that helped me when I was looking for resources and information on what to do as far as incident response, uh, learning about it, the procedures, the steps, uh, what to look for. So if you go to visit F, uh, the Fed TV, E, which comes out to this one, it's a public course, right? Federal train, a virtual training environment. So that's the FVTE, all right? Federal virtual training environment. And it's public, all public, all free information. You can go through the courses here and look, I mean, it's extensive. It's not 20 minutes, not five minutes. It's not eight minute YouTube videos like this one's going to probably be. I mean, come on, five hour courses that are free for your learning to enhance yourself. I guarantee you, if you take this, all of this, and you comprehend it, and you bring that to an incident response interview, I'm pretty confident this hiring manager or the group or the team will look at you and be like, this guy's amazing. He knows exactly what we're looking for. So. Let's go over some of the details as to what this entails. Check this out. Welcome to the introduction of programming course. And I, it's, you know, some of it are slideshows. I'm not going to lie. You, you have to do some reading. It's not a lot of reading, but it's putting little snippets of information where you can actually retain it, right? It's not a hundred pages, 200 pages of information on a single topic. 
like you know chapters or anything like that it, it's i mean it's still five hours long not only that it makes it interactive so check this out i mean as far as programming language let me just uh put that here i think it's like oh, i'm trying to see i forgot how how i did it the other day i actually this is like a programming control panel why is it not working for me all of a sudden am i not doing it right now hmm but anyway let's keep on going so i think oh this is oh sorry that's that's what i had to do i had to go the the first page was explaining it and it, it basically just says like what controls you can take different paths right so we can actually go back and take a whole path and go around hit the target but i'm just taking a straight dive into the target i hit my play button goes each step that's basic programming and, and this is what it's trying to teach you so you actually comprehend all of this this is amazing right so let's just keep on going and you know knowledge check it has simple questions and answers you can go through the whole process that's course one right so let me just show you a brief video of what they actually do here and let me just take a quick break. Quick break was to switch my speakers onto my headphone side so you guys can hear it as well. So here we go. The second half of the course will apply this framework to some real world case studies of documented ransomware attacks. As we dive in, let's, so let's start by looking at some numbers that illustrate how destructive uh, these potential attacks could be. Guys. This is this video is 47 minutes, 47 and a half minutes long. I'm not going to sit here and go through the entirety of it. But if this is something that interests you, this sparks your interest, that's incident responder. It, it could be, you know, a blue team SOC analyst. You're, you're responding to these events that are coming in daily. This is what you actually have to know and do. So sitting through this course and learning more about it is definitely the key to understanding it, not just reading a book from you know uh, i don't know from amazon or how to incident respond or things that may may be a little outdated this is definitely one of those things that are going to be constantly to the time of today meaning it's going to be updated it's going to be persistent it's going to be things that organizations follow city state agencies government agencies are going to follow because this is where it all begins from now i i'm not ashamed to say i did sit through an interview with cisa one time now granted i did not get the position but i learned a lot i learned from the panel exactly what they do how they do it and what they were expecting for a position like this now cisa is definitely one of those organizations uh, that informs right they don't actually do the things but they inform because they still have their own infrastructure that they need to manage and take care of now, some of you who are probably watching this are working for CISA right now. And, and it'll pro I, I, I commend you because I, ooh, that, that takes a lot. They were definitely really, really um, good at what they do. And I, I totally understand that. I unfortunately did not make the cut, but I was fortunate enough to even sit through that to learn that process of what they asked during the interview. And it was amazing. I, I wish, you know, if I could turn back time, I could probably have answered things a certain way and it might have been reconsidered or uh, maybe I'll have a future chance. Who knows, right? But I'm here to tell you guys that there's this resource out there that can help you. And, you know, this, this, just the training, the amount of information that's available is definitely really comprehensive and it helps you in every step of the way if you're looking into the field of cybersecurity on a budget on a budget now granted there is no certification that will come out of this from the CISA training or understanding it but the amount of knowledge that you would gain from this is guaranteed if you can re kind of teach this back out during an interview or a hiring manager or someone that you're working with and you can spew all this out because you retained it in, in your memory they would be so impressed i mean I, i'm just saying that's that's my uh my one thing that i would suggest is to visit the cisa website the cisa.gov website learn review and absorb it because it definitely will help you in the long run of course they also have 
different platforms that they uh, communicate on, Facebook, X, LinkedIn. And also you can email uh, if you want to share all this out. They definitely have a good amount of resources here. Report a cyber issue, Shields Up. Let's just check that out. This is awesome. This is amazing. I visit this pretty frequently. Have you been affected by ransomware? And then you just, just imagine that if an organization comes to you on an interview and says, have you ever experienced a ransomware? And you're like, well, no, of course not. Never happened to me. We're, we're spotless. No, wrong answer. What you want to do is reveal if you've never experienced it. I've experienced it personally, like within the organization. We went through it. I was like in shock. I was like, shoot, what do we do? What do we do? We had to follow procedures. We had to follow the policies that we had. We have to follow the MITRE attack. We had to follow CISA. We had to follow these things because these were our guidelines to remediating what we just experienced. And working with this, you go and learn more, you start understanding what it is that you need to do and go through and explain it back to the hiring manager. So I want to come here and say that this has to be the best resource of information that is free on the internet and legit. So take that, run with it, and thank me later. Definitely thank me later. I want to thank everyone. Please remember to hit that like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys really soon. Take care, everyone.